Hi everybody, welcome to the Music DCS channel. I'm your host, and this is my Guitar Gold Diary. Not gonna lie, the days have been rough, and the practice has been, uh, inconsistent, to say the least. I let other parts of my life kind of bleed into practice time and other things like sleep, and that kind of caused a, a snowball of, uh, you know, issues. Now, I still got some things done, despite the inconsistencies. So, you know, there were some good things along with the bad things. Uh, let's talk about those things. So the bad news guitar-wise, as you already know, is that I didn't really get as much practice in as I normally do. So that kind of sucked. My, uh, my finger muscles are uh, kind of slacking right now. They're a little on the weak side, I guess. The good news is, however, I did find a way to uh, start working on spread voicing practice. And as for practice in general, I kind of have uh, an improved method or supplement to kind of help me, you know, just be a little more efficient with practice. Introducing... Flashcards, baby! Oh yeah, that's right. So what I do with these flashcards is I just write out the exercises that I do, you know? Um, I write them out in like such a specific way that I can look at them and refer to them later. And that just saves me time and effort in, or effort, um, in writing them out every single time I make my journal entries in my purple notebook. So, I can just write down in my notebook, just do major scale spread voicing number one. And then I'll just know what that means because I'll just have the flashcards with the book. Ah, ah. As far as spread voicings, since we're talking about them, um, I just made a couple of flashcards to start me off here. Um, I've got spread voicing, uh, root position, arpeggiating. I've got uh, second inversion, and of course first inversion is somewhere in here. Uh, it's somewhere in here. Anyway. I still have to make more flashcards because I already have a bunch of ideas for different exercises and having just like a deck of exercises could be kind of cool, you know? I could just kind of shuffle them and basically make a routine. And I can always write on the back of the cards, you know, the type of routine it is, like a guitar theory related flashcard or category, I should say. I just have to make more flashcards and then the next step will just be to, you know, measure out how much time I'm gonna spend on each flashcard or exercise or whatever. Am I gonna use that same 15 minute interval that Music Is Win's ultimate guitar routine thing uses? Am I gonna keep it, you know, smaller since in the past I've already, you know, suffered from uh, fatigue and, you know, burnout and things like that, even though it's only 15 minutes, I guess. So that's the next step that I have to tackle. But in the meantime, I just gave, you know, running through these flashcards a quick, you know, test drive and... Uh... Okay, uh, E flat uh, inversion, so... But we're doing the uh, second version, so then that means that B flat has to be here. Oh God. Um, <clears throat> I guess I could do this. You know, so far so good. And this can also be applied to every other category, except maybe like songwriting, I guess. But I can just make vocal related flashcards. I can make lick related flashcards. It doesn't just have to be like the guitar theory stuff. I've got options, that's cool. Now, there's also this section in my practice where I just jam on a couple of tracks, or just one track over and over. And I wanted to keep that, but now I'm gonna use it specifically for things like spread voicing practice and uh, applying, you know, whatever lick goal I'm working on at the time. In this case, lick goal number one. So, you know, I'll just have a song in mind. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
And I'll probably also drill the you know exercises beforehand in the same key of the jam that I'm gonna do. But uh, you know, we'll see how that works because I don't always come in with a jam in mind. Also, as far as ear training is concerned, I still don't really have a dedicated thing that I do for it. I mean, I like to mimic vocal lines, um, which requires my ear, and I tr basically transcribe, you know, whatever I work on when I'm learning or jamming on things. But yeah, once again, not exactly like a specific dedicated thing for ear training. So I still need to, you know, figure out how I'm gonna go about that. Cause I think it's still a really good skill to develop specifically. So get on it, you, me, me. Now, as far as the vocals are concerned, I started to get a little more consistent with that uh, since the last century, a lot faster than I did with guitar stuff. I also went over my cover of Return to Earth and uh, you know, I just kind of like picked out some criticisms that I made about it and uh, I've kind of just been working on those. There were some moments where, uh, you know, I couldn't really pronounce words and hold a pitch at the same time. Like I would say, so keep on slipping, or you know, just like anything that had like an O um, would kind of just sound not as strong as like when I have like more open vowels. So, you know, I just kind of uh, focused more on pronunciation over the you know past two weeks or so. Oh, so 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 keep on so 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 so. Was it technically perfect? Perfect. Could it have been any better? Uh, there was also a couple of moments in the cover where I kind of tried to get like a little, just a little, you know, emotionally expressive with my face and like my hand movements and just like little, little things because I felt a little too stiff. But uh, I felt like it also took away from my concentration. So I want to work more on just making sure that the technique and vocal muscle memory really sticks. And then we'll just add the uh, expressive stuff a little later, you know? And I feel like I've always worked like that guitar-wise too, you know? I just kind of sit and, uh, you know, get the things down and then I'll work out, you know, kind of like That's not how I sound. I've also noticed a lot more consistency with my lip trilling. I don't really, you know, have those mess ups as much as I used to, which is cool. And whenever I finish those like exercises, my voice always feels pretty good. Like it always feels like, ah, ah rather than, eh. As far as the uh, dual goals of uh, songwriting uh, improvement and band album completion, uh, they're picking up. I've had some meetings with the other guitarists in the band and we're writing some material for, you know, song number three which is cool. And I actually did get to sit down a few times and just kind of like go through a couple of songs from bands that I like. But I did focus a lot on Coheed and Cambria. I'm trying to go for this uh, thing where you, uh, you say a couple of things without having to say all of those things. For example, uh, the Mars Volta in Televators, um, you have this first line, just as he hit the ground. Now that, you know, coupled with the, the instrumental setup, just gives you an idea that uh, this is not just, just somebody hitting the ground running or, you know, somebody falling and, you know, slipping on a banana peel or something, you know, it's like he fell, you know, or he fell. I'm also trying out different melodies to go with these lines over, you know, the verses and stuff like that, just to see what really, you know, brings that song to life. And, uh, you know, I kind of bounce it off the other guitar player, they throw ideas at me, and we had a couple of sessions like that. So, you know, things are looking uh, pretty good. Now, as far as the lick goal, once again, did not get a lot of practice in. However, when I did, I tried to uh, apply the lick in different sequences over, you know, different chord changes. So I basically played the lick 
in a different mode, you know, corresponding to its respective chord. So if I'm playing in D minor, you know, and then, you know, the D minor chord goes to a G, I mean, that's easy because, you know, it's pretty much the same shape since the one chord and the four chord, you know, share a lot of similarities in general. But then, let's say it goes to the three chord, you know, and then it's an F major chord. So then it's like, I can't even sing it. It's, uh, it's pretty hard. I, it's hard for me to, to really think about that shape and those intervals in that way. So I think that doing this is gonna be pretty difficult, since it was. And uh, I think that it'll be pretty helpful with general lick use. If I can just play uh, any lick over any chord, you know, that lets me tell stories in like a cool way. Cause then I could just be like, you know, you get it. Like it'll, it'll be cool. Cause sequences are cool. Okay. Sequences are cool. Sequences are cool. I like sequences. Uh, let's do a quick recap of what I did and what I've got to do. So as far as guitar stuff, yay, I got, you know, flashcards and some form of a spread voicing schedule going. But I still have to work out this ear training thing. And there are like a bunch of ways to like do ear training stuff. I could just sit down and do chord identification, just specifically interval identification, you know, all those like relative pitch related things. Um, I could do rhythm work where I just like, you know, uh, call back rhythms. I could just specifically focus on calling back melodies. I could just sing what I play. I could play what I sing. I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of things, but I still have to pick one. And my jamming has to consist of both the lit goal and, you know, whatever exercises I'm working on at the time. So in this case, lit goal number one and spread voicings in, you know, different ver inversions. Yeah, yeah, inversions. As far as vocals are concerned, it's good that the trills are becoming like way easier to do and I'm not stopping with them. But I also need to make sure that I follow through with pronunciation of my words so that I give my voice enough room to fill up space and be loud and heard and stuff. Open your mouth when you sing, open your mouth. So as far as the songwriting and band album completion is concerned, I just have to keep on writing uh, the lyrics for song number three, bounce the ideas off of the other guitar player, you know, including the melodies and stuff, and you know, just keep on improving it and disapproving of ideas and going back and forth, arguing things and approving things and all that stuff. Lastly, for the lit goal, I just have to play it in, you know, all chord sequences for whichever scale I'm using at the time. And yeah, also add that to the jam. Okay, that's about it. I would go into more detail, but my camera is a dying and somebody forgot to bring the battery pack. So, what about you? Did you get any cool ideas from uh, this video, like using flashcards? Do you think that I'm dumb and I should just get a book or a teacher still, huh? Let me know in the comment section down below after you've liked and subscribed. I'm out.